Okay, so this video is about dimensional analysis. So basically converting from one unit of measure to another unit of measure. This is the first problem. It says convert 5.57 inches into centimeters. We're going to talk about doing this with this thing called the picket fence method. So basically, you take the unit you're given, 5.57 inches. So whatever they gave you, you place it here. And then you think about the unit you're going into, centimeters. So I want to put centimeters on top here. So if my unit of measure I'm currently in is inches, I got to think about how many, how inches relates to centimeters. And the inches has to go on the bottom. And I'll explain why. But basically there's one inch for every 2.54 centimeters. The reason why that goes on the bottom is this. If you look at this, if this is multiplication right across here, the inches in the numerator and the inches in the denominator will cancel. And that will give you 5.57 times, we'll use a parenthesis, times 2.54 centimeters. And your answer would be 14.1478 centimeters. So that means 5.57 inches is about 14 centimeters. And yes, this is how we do it each time. Basically, we take the unit we're given, place it here, play the, place the unit we we're trying to get into, and make sure that number goes, uh, that um, unit goes there. And then we just kind of figure out what these numbers have to be, considering um, what the unit we originally was working in. All right, let's do another one. I will copy this note, and I'm about to erase the screen. So let's consider this one. It says convert 18.2 kilometers, or kilometers, into meters. So I'm going to start off with my picket fence. And the 18.2 kilometers is the unit I'm given. It goes here. 18.2. And I have to write the kilometers that I started with. That way I have the proper unit of measure. My goal is to make it into meters. So I'm going to make sure meters goes on top. I don't want to see kilometers anymore. So I'm going to make sure kilometers goes on the bottom. That way, when I multiply this across, that way and this way, the kilometers will cancel each other out. So, given that, let's multiply, let's think about this. So, one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. So, when I multiply this across, the kilometers cancel, and we wind up having 18.2 times 1,000, and the only unit of measure left, because this has been canceled and that's been canceled, is the meters. So I'm going to put 1,000 meters. So 18.2 times 1,000, I think the decimal space goes to the right three times. So that's 18200. Zero, zero. So it's 18,200 meters. And that's how we convert from kilometers to meters. Now, are there easy other ways? Yes, there are other ways. You might have just thought, well, it's 18,000 of them because 1,000 uh, meters make a kilometer. But as we get to do more of these, it gets more complicated. So it's really important to learn how to use this. So let's do another. So this one says convert 12.5 feet into miles. All right, so that's an interesting way of thinking about this. But 12.5 feet into miles. So let's start off with our, with our um, pick, um, picket fence. And I'm going to put 12.5 feet here. That's the unit we're given. And I want to change that into miles. And I have to think about this. I want to get rid of my feet. So I've got to put it on the bottom here. it got to be feet. So let's think about this. And... One mile, there's 5,280 feet. So let's multiply. When I multiply this across, it's going to be the feet will cancel, giving you 12.5 
meters. Okay, that's multiply 12.5 times one meters is 12.5 meters over 5,280. That means that's going to be 0 0.0023674, roughly, miles. All right, so that M stands for miles. Um, actually, miles, we usually use an MI for that record. So I should put an MI. Miles is usually MI, and M is usually meters. So that means that 12.5 feet is a not much compared to a mile. It's point zero zero two three six seven miles. But that's how you convert twelve point five feet into miles. Let's do one more. I'm gonna let you try the next one on your own. I'll get that as a note though. I'm about to clear the board. All right. So this one says convert three weeks into hours. And pause the video and see if we can figure it out without me. So pause the video and give it a shout on your own first. Now this is this is a little different from what I usually give because you gotta do some more work. We'll give it a shot. All right, so if you tried it, let's think about this. What we have is three weeks. So three weeks. We want to convert that into hours. And the unit we're currently in is weeks. So let's think about this. In one week, that's a bigger unit to measure to work with. How many hours is that? So. I think about what it's 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, seven times two, um, two, 24 should be 140 plus 28, that's 168. So that's 168 hours in one week, 168. 168 hours. So to finish that, when I multiply now, the weeks would cancel giving me 3 times 168 hours and that is 504 hours in 3 weeks so in that case you had to convert the hours and weeks into each other which you didn't have a conversion you had to figure it out all right let's go further all right so we got a new one it says convert 2 gallons into quarts in the cups. So let's first think about this. And two, so two gallons. All right, so we really don't have, and we want to convert that into um, cups. So cups goes here, and gallons go on the bottom, so we can cancel out the gallons. The thing is, though, we don't have any conversions from gallons to cups. We got gallons to quarts, and we got cups to pints. But we don't have gallons of cups. So instead of creating one, let's do it this way. Let's work with conversions we already have. We know that one gallon equals to four quarts. So by putting gallons on the bottom, it helps me get rid of my gallons. So I'm going to multiply that together. And now when I multiply this, my answer is going to be in quarts. So now I want to get rid of quarts. So in the quarts, I know one quart is equal to two pints. And by doing it that way, when I multiply across, my quarts go away, and now my answer is in pints. I don't want it in pints. I want it in cups. So let's go further. I want cups on top. I want my answer in cups, and I want paints on the bottom so that it cancel. So considering that, there is in one paint, there are two cups. So this would cancel my paints. So my answer should be 2 times 4 times 2 times 2 cups. So this is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2, that's 32. That's 32 cups and 2 gallons. I think that's pretty awesome. All right, now let's go even further than that. All right, so this is my last one. So let's convert 2.8 feet per second into miles an hour. 
All right, so this is a lot like the last one because you have multiple conversions. You got feet per second and miles an hour. You got two things being here, here that we want put together. So I want my answer in miles over hours. That means miles an hour. I want my answer written that way. So let's start. So getting started, we know it's 2.8 feet in one second. That's how, how this person is moving, how this object is moving. Now let's get rid of the feet because I don't really want it in feet. I want it in miles an hour. So feet is going to be on the bottom. And I don't know how many miles are in a foot, but I know how many feet in a mile. So put mile on top. And it's 5,280 um, feet in a mile. So let's do that. Get on top. It's going to be miles from I, and that's going to be one mile is 5,280 feet. By doing this, I now can cancel my feet. My answer now is in miles a second. I want it in miles an hour. Let's convert that. So I know in one, in one minute, in one minute, there is 60 seconds, All right? So I can get rid of my seconds. Now my answers are, is it miles a minute? Because it's miles on top and then it's on the bottom. So from there, I need to change the minutes because I don't want it in miles and minutes, I want it in miles an hour. So I need minutes on top and I need hours on the bottom. So in one hour, there's 60 minutes. So if I multiply now, the minutes go away. And now I have miles on top here. I got hours on the bottom. That means my answer is in miles an hour. So let's multiply this. It's going to be 2.8 times 1. I don't really need to multiply times 1. Times 60. Times 60. And that's going to be divided by 1 times 5,280 times 1 times 1. So divided by 5,280. And when you multiply that together, that's a 2.8, not 2 times 8. That product should be 57600. And that's divided by 5280. So that gives you roughly 10.9 miles an hour. You might write miles an hour or miles over hours. So that's it. That's how you do it. We'll do more of those in class, but it's all I have. Good luck.